Om Shanti, today is your 129th day of your godly spiritual blessing and in today's blessing God wants us to become pure but to become pure we have to also be very careful and very protected about our purity which can only happen if we have the light of purity flowing from us so much so that, that other people's impure thoughts, impure vibrations whether they are next to you or they are thousands of kilometers away from you their thoughts cannot affect you and for that to happen God tells us a method over here let's experience that method because our peace of mind depends upon the purity which we have we generate purity on our own but if there is an external influence onto us that also can affect our purity or we can affect them in a good ma- good way so let's explore this Baba says in today's blessing <music> master son of knowledge a master son of knowledge so god is the son of knowledge s u n the son and we are the master son of knowledge and burn away the impure thoughts and attitudes of all souls but for that to happen first my own impure thoughts have to burn away and that can only happen in the method given by god over here so baba says just as the sun burns away all rubbish and germs etc all viruses bacteria are burned away by the sun's reaction imagine one day you don't have the sun or for a week you don't have the sun what's going to be the condition of your skin of your food of your household of your room it will start smelling right because of viruses and bacteria so god says similarly over here if you don't have the sun of knowledge that means if you're not churning the knowledge in your mind there will be darkness in your mind impurity in your mind and that darkness and impurity will bring about peacelessness And you won't be able to prosper in anything in your life. So then God says, with its rays, in the same way, when you become a master son of knowledge, for that we have to become a master son of knowledge. And that is the complete struggle in spirituality in Brahma Kumaris. Sometimes we get into darkness, sometimes we come into light. So it's a fluctuation which happens and that has to be stopped. And over a period of time, once we reach that stage, we are completely master sons of knowledge. That's the time we'll be able to spread the vibrations of purity to others and we won't be getting affected by others so then baba says you become a master son of knowledge and look at impure souls their impure thoughts impure attitude and vision will burn away when you become that master son of knowledge so their impure souls impure thoughts will burn away they won't have any impure thoughts towards you even if you have done some impure karma with them in the past birth or in the past couple of months or days in this life itself their thoughts will transform and they'll start looking at you in a pure manner so that will change only when we become master son of knowledge and for that to happen the sun the physical sun has gaseous reactions happening within it because of which it is emitting light similarly over here we have to have thoughts of godly knowledge completely going on in our mind all the time so that the reaction of those pure thoughts of knowledge which God has given us about our previous birth and the future that helps us to maintain and sustain the purity so that we don't do any kind of impure karmas so then God says if you are able to do that if you are able to reach that stage of master son of knowledge complete stage 100% then only other souls who have impure thoughts and who have impure vision and those who have impure attitude towards you will change so then Baba says it will burn away impure thoughts cannot attack purifier souls you'll become a purifier soul impure souls will surrender themselves to purifier souls instead of you succumbing to their impurity they will succumb to your purity and that can only happen if you're completely having a complete reaction of thoughts in your mind which are of purity that means godly knowledge is running within your mind of running within your blood or whatsoever you want to take it as or understand it as so then Baba says for this for this to happen become a might house that means a powerful house that is remain stable in the stage of being a master son of knowledge that means you are the one who's bestowing the knowledge to others and you're not dependent upon others for anything so that can only happen when you are thinking about knowledge and you're contemplating about godly knowledge all that God has taught us on a daily basis 
If we contemplate it, that's the time maya or lustful thoughts or impure thoughts towards other people, they stay at bay and you are protected and you are bathing in the ganges of knowledge of God or in the light of God, that is the son of knowledge who God is. So I leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. Understand and learn that knowledge and learn the method to contemplate about it at Brahma Kumaris. So today is the day of contemplation of this Vardhan. I leave you with this. Have a blessed day. Stay safe. Om Shanti. Thank you.